consider the following six numbers. Let's say we require to find the total of these numbers. There are two methods. We can either use the addition method by writing the equal sign and then writing a reference for each cell and use the addition sign. As you can see in this example. And then we press enter. And this number is the total of those numbers above. However, as you might notice, this method is quite long, a long method. And uh, it is not very efficient, especially if you have a, a longer list of numbers. So instead of using this basic addition method, we can use one of the ready-made functions of Excel, which is called the autosum. The autosum can be obtained either by clicking this button or by going on formulas and clicking on the autosum button or otherwise by writing down the formula manually. Let's do it using different methods. Let's start by using the autosum button. So first, we have to make sure that we select the cell where we want our answer. If I click on the autosum, Excel will try to guess which are the numbers that you would like to add. In this case, Excel managed to guess the right range of cells. And we can just press enter. And now here we have the answer of the addition of all these numbers. Another way is that of writing the formula ourselves. And as a suggestion, in order to master Excel, it is very important that all Excel users will know how to write formulas manually themselves, because this will make them more proficient in using Excel and will allow them to use nested functions, which I shall be explaining later on in these videos. So if we want to use the autosum function, we can write the equals because it is function, so we have to start with the equal sign. Then we write the keyword sum. As you can see here, an autocomplete pop will come up and you can choose the formula. Please note that to choose the formula, you have to press the tab key from your keyboard and not the enter. Once you choose the formula, you have to open the brackets and write the range. There are two ways of writing the range. You can either write the first cell, in our case it is D4, then write a colon, followed by the last cell in the range. In our case, it is D9. And then close the brackets. Otherwise, you can write sum, open the brackets, and using your mouse, select the cells that you would like to include in this autosum. Make sure you close the bracket and press enter. And we have the answer of the addition of the above numbers.